see you struggle. It is so hard for us all. But he's here. And he's so very proud. Hello. This article includes Percy Jackson and the Olympians Season 1 Episode 4 and Percy Jackson Book Spoilers. She is coming, who is the voice referring to in Percy Jackson's Nightmare Episode 4. In Episode 4, Percy Jackson's Nightmare, a voice informs him that someone is approaching. This is a foreshadowing of a very powerful future figure. Summary, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Season 1, Episode 4. Percy's nightmare foreshadows a future peril involving Gaia, the mighty primordial goddess of the Earth, and reveals that his heroics would invite even more disaster. Echidna, the mother of monsters, makes reference to her distant kinship to Gaia, implying Gaia's potential significance in Percy's story. Her awareness of events on Earth, along with her resistance to Percy, make her a difficult and significant threat. She could make a quick cameo in the season 1 finale, paving the way for her prospective involvement in future seasons. Percy hears a voice telling him that someone is coming in a nightmare at the start of Percy Jackson and the Olympians Episode 4. In Chrono's conversation with Percy, the Percy Jackson series has already indirectly hinted at future events from Rick Riordan's Percy Jackson novel series. With Riordan, Percy Jackson, and the Olympians cast so committed to a faithful rendition, every nugget of knowledge or subtle Easter egg is certainly intended for future episodes and seasons. In Episode 4, for example, Grover tells the story of Pan and his own desire to find him, despite the fact that every setter who has tried has failed. This lays the stage for Grover's quest to carry out this mission, which he begins at the end of the first novel, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Episode 4 also goes into more detail about Thalia and how she forced Annabeth to earn her trust and care. However, Percy's nightmare foreshadows the appearance of a pivotal figure who is an important element of the franchise's overarching narrative. In the show's poster, Percy Jackson is clutching the master bolt between Grover and Echidna. Percy, the young man in Percy Jackson and the Olympians, we see a veiled man in a desert region in a nightmare. A forbidden child attracts attention, says the voice Percy hears in his nightmare, which he doesn't recognize as Kronos. A prohibited hero, on the other hand, attracts doom. She's on her way. This immediately implies that Percy's heroism will result in considerably greater carnage than he has seen thus far with the monsters hunting him. Given that Echidna is the major adversary in Episode 4, it's fair to assume that the voice was referring to her. It's doubtful, considering the backdrop of Riordan's books and Echidna's brief threat to Percy. Because she is considered the mother of monsters, Echidna is a worthy opponent. Even Echidna alluded to Gaia when she mentioned her ancestors and hinted at a distant tie to Percy. Gaia is the primal earth goddess from whom the titans, such as Kronos, were born. As Kronos is Poseidon's father, Gaia Percy would be her great-grandmother. As a result, it's possible that Kronos was warning young Percy about a future threat in his nightmare because Gaia may have an impact on his overall story due to her tremendous strength. Why would the voice warn about Gaia, and when could she appear on Percy Jackson's show? Book cover for the Battle of the Labyrinth Gaia possesses extraordinarily powerful abilities that pull power from the Earth itself, according to mythology and Riordan's Percy Jackson books. As the embodiment of the Earth, she can heal, produce sentient life forms, and manipulate the Earth. Her omniscience makes her a difficult danger because she is aware of everything that happens anywhere on Earth. Unfortunately for Percy, he is one of the demigods she is most opposed to because he was instrumental in the destruction of her son, Kronos. Her first big contribution to the book series, however, comes in the fourth book, The Battle of Labyrinth, where she cures Poseidon's son, Antaeus, in Labyrinth's arena as he confronts Percy. Having said that, she may appear briefly in the season one finale, given that the conclusion is based on the book chapter in which a big scorpion attacks Percy. Gaia famously dispatched a massive scorpion to sting her son, Orion. If she appears early in Percy's disoriented state, it might point back to Chrono's warning and set seeds for her appearance in any future seasons of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Thank you for watching.